and the greatest part is save me so much time and as you say so much money too Wagwan Wagwan what's great welcome back to the channel my day I know I'm here going easy you see me I say more make a video for under something here because as you know channel is all about teaching you about Jamaica, about just life and a whole. And for me, if I think I go so boom, I'm just start going to the realness. The ideas must have flow. Cause there's nothing greater than the truth. And beyond the truth is extreme freedom. And that's all my experience right now. You see me? So with that said, I want to talk about Jamaica and you deciding to build investor um Relive into Jamaica all over again. You see me? In the place, man. Ah, no. You see that? Farm tree over my head and all these things, man. So, yeah. I think one of the best decisions I made almost two years now, April of this year, 2024, it's going to mark two years now since I made this decision. I'm happy with the decision. You see me? So if you plan on moving to Jamaica or visiting very often, I made a video which is one of the biggest videos out on this channel why I've been in Jamaica so long and it's about a vehicle purchased this car almost two years ago. Pretty time pretty pretty soon I'm gonna sell it still because I don't know them things they lose while they depreciate and like a house and land them car depreciates so you know I keep a vehicle for too long so having to go all over the country may I tell you you're looking at seven five thousand minimum for a rental and it's sometimes five thousand dollars for one of the worst set of cars you'll ever find. It's massive. And being here you now my can go so boom. You pay insurance, you pay like thirty-five thousand dollars every three months for your insurance, which is not a bad price. This car don't give me trouble, so thank God for that. It's massive. And yeah, you save me so much, let's say more of three things to do in a one day. I have to stand up in the sun and wait for the taxi to live load up and them thing there. And the greatest part is save me so much time and as I say, so much money too. Because if you do the maths, if you rent a car for a week in Jamaica, you know, at we're gonna go at the lowest rate if you're gonna get whatever car. Because you know the top the tier cars determine the price. So it's the next day. Um, my phone cut off for me and stuff like that, right? But let's say you're gonna rent that car for five thousand dollars. That's five thousand dollars for one of the cars on the lower tier. Cars in Jamaica, you know Jamaica fancy for them car. You are looking at six to seven thousand dollars per day. No, times five, five, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars minimum. You're going to pay to rent a car for the week. That's just for the car payment. You're not talking about gas and nothing like that, right? Thirty-five thousand dollars. Is that what I said? What is that? That is your insurance for three months. You get to my phone, fam. So let's say here in Jamaica for a month and working with the minimum cost because, as I said, six to seven thousand dollars for rent a car. So let's do the maths. I'm not the best at maths. Currently, if I'm wrong, so thirty-five, thirty-five. That are seventy, two seven fourteen. That are. 35 and 35 so let's say 35 for the week so 35,000 and two weeks that are 70 to 2714 so 140 thousand dollars it's just gonna cost you to rent a minimum um tier vehicle which is at five thousand dollars per day assuming no 140 thousand dollars see let's say you come and Jamaica three times for the year how much is that 140 and 140 that are 280. Then I put 20 half of that day that are 3. So 140 and 140. Come on, you try. Make your maths teacher proud. Pastor Brown, see with me. 140, 140. Alright? 140 and 140 that are 280. See? Then I put one next 100 body that are 380. So 420. We do the math no ramp with my maths, you know. So four hundred and twenty thousand dollar if you're going to visit Jamaica three times for the year. Right? Assuming you're gonna be staying for a month. Almost half a million dollar. How much how much is it for a car in Jamaica? At least a million dollar in Jamaica. Even under a million, but as I said, it's not gonna be the nicest car or 
one of the strongest vehicles per se, the mileage is going to be very high. If you know about mileage, you know the more mileage and, and more the car got driven or the older it is and the more problem it comes with. More mileage, more problem. Think about that. You see what I say? So you can get a car for under a million dollar Jamaica, but it's going to be an older car. But if you want a proper car, you're looking at a million point five to two million dollars can give you a proper car. What is two million dollars in Canadian? That's about eighteen thousand Canadian and about fifteen thousand US dollars can give you a proper car in Jamaica. But look at it this way: if you come to Jamaica for the year, you come three times for the year, you're going to be spending at least four thousand US just on the rental. You're not talking about the gas and if anything wrong with the car for repair and them something. So. Do the maths and tell me if it makes sense. Set so a few days later, I'm just get to finish up this video. But as I was saying, having a car in Jamaica has been one of the best financial decisions I've made. As I said before, if you're not going to be here very often or long periods of time, then it's not necessary. It's just a waste of money because a car do cost. I'm going to tell you straight up. If I saw a waste because I have my retainers in, right? But a car do cost. For example, the rims on this car, they are designer rims, if you may, are aftermarket rims, right? So they're not like the metal rims, they're more so the hollow type, the fancier looking rims. And these are very soft rims and Jamaica have a lot of patrol. So many a times if I'm going to, let's say, a Ocho Rios that has some patrol in certain areas of the road, trust me, I've gone to Ocho Rios many times. And about three times when I come back from Ocherius, I have a flat tire because the rim crack and I have to get it weld. Right? So you see that in previous videos where I show you where I do that. And to get it well, you're looking at like three thousand dollars per crack. Sometimes it crack like two places, right? And it happens frequently most times. So these are the costs that you have to consider, right? I also have to consider insurance. Whether or not you're driving your car, you're gonna need insurance in, in terms if you have um theft, right? You know, so you're covered that way. So even if you're not driving your car and you're parked up in Jamaica, living overseas, you still need insurance. Let's say something fall down for your car, God forbid, any um, accidental fires, someone steals your car, it's covered under insurance, right? And if you're going to have someone drive it, you still need insurance for it. That person, in my case, my younger brother drives this car whenever time I'm not in Jamaica. And... I don't know. I always hear people complain about a car and sharing. I've never had an issue sharing a car. Because me and Alice always share our car together. The first Honda we own, second Honda, and now the SUV. And we don't have a problem. Likewise, with my little brother, like him drive this car. When I'm in Jamaica, I just give my heads up and say, yo, I'm going to go up on the road. If I'm going to go somewhere for the weekend, I just give my heads up because you know I have to bring him daughter to school and him be able to work on them things. And it just work out fine. And if I'm going to go somewhere, vice versa, I ask me, say, yo, I go somewhere this time. I'm saying, no, man, dear thing. And we've never literally have an issue in terms of, oh, trying to take in Ghana or whatever. One and two times, you say, yo, we are running late, I mean, we are running late, but it's never something for you. Sorry, have an argument over per se. I know that this doesn't work for everybody because everybody's family dynamic is different. But they on the side where my blessed for no say, me can share a vehicle with somebody and we're not on a quarrel. No, sometimes I hear people have stories that them buy a car and them leave, give them family members or friends and the people them take it. You get me? I say, as if to say it's theirs. I've never had those issues before. So, Knock on wood, can't find no wood. You see me, but knock on wood, that has never been my situation, and I hope it's never will be a situation of mine. But give thanks to that. So yeah, with that said, man, trust me, having a car in Jamaica had ab see you see the list are coming because the retainers. Having a car in Jamaica has saved me tremendously because just think about it. Um, local taxi fare. If you're going, let's say from um. A Christiana to a Mandu for those who know Manchester era. Christiana to Mandu is I think probably 250 Jamaican dollars for the fee. Right? That's a one way. Two way, it's 500. You see me? And let's say I have to go out two, three times for the day, which I go out a lot for the day. More I run, go grab something at the store and stuff like that. Sometimes I go out all four times for the day. That's like at like 5, 10. 1520 that's like $1,500 dollars give and take depending on the distance and if you're going to put it the minimum bus fare or taxi fare pay in Jamaica is $150 so let's say 
I'm not going to use the Chris Senna to man the route as an example, but let's put it at the minimum. So 150 is the minimum no matter where you're going for bus fee, right? So 150 times 4, that's 3. That's $600, you know what I'm saying? That's 150 and 150, that's $300 back and forth. Right, and if I'm three six nine twelve, that's twelve hundred dollars. If I'm going out, let's say four times minimum for the day, and twelve hundred dollars a day times seven days a week, you do the math span that one day, and times that if you're going to be here for three months, and as I'm gonna say, you're not putting in, the, you're not factoring in the long week that you have to do. You see me? And let's just say now you're moving from one end of the country to the other. If I'm moving from a Manchester to a Ocho Rios, you know say the fear is going to be at least um, three too much grand. And then the major thing is your time. If you value your time, you're going to need a personal vehicle. And rental is not going to cut it if you're going to be in the country for extended period of time. And multiple times of the year, it only makes sense to have a car here in Jamaica. It saves you in the long run. It's more so costly up front, but it saves you in the long run. And if you can get a car through the dealership or the bank, that would be a best way too. Right? That would be the better way because that way, you can just pay a car payment. Or if you have the cash, buy a nice little car cash and park it. But I always say, if you have the money, if you have the bank for you, do that and invest your money somewhere else so you can grow. Because again, a car is a depreciating um, asset that you're going to lose money upon. You see me? So, but yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment. I just thought that I'd make this video to encourage somebody who is looking to either move back home or travel back home very often. Rental does not cut it. And I'm giving you the numbers here, right? If you want a good car, see me say, okay, agent, I want a car. I want a good car, but I don't want to break the bank. And I'm not going to use the bank, I'm not going to use my money. How much will that cost? Okay. Alright, so the cars that I find are very good to deal with when you come to Jamaica. You want something that um, four-wheel drive would be ideal. But I'm, I have two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, man. But four-wheel drive would be ideal. Because I know Jamaica has a lot of hills and stuff like that. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. But that would be ideal. Alright? I'd say if you have a, you need to consider the size family you have. For me, I have a big family now. But at the time when I got this car, my family was not that big. So I would, I would get something a bit bigger. Something that's higher off the ground. That's important because you don't want your car to scrape up. Again, that's a little bit of cost that you want, you want to avoid, right? Get a vehicle that has um factory rims. What are factory rims? They are actual metal rims that are not breaking easily or that easily breakable right and again you know on the tires they have those um thin tires what do you call them tire we come like it almost a touch rim you don't really want them tire in a jamaica i know it looks good aesthetically pleasing but it will aesthetically cost you because the closer the tire is to the rim easier it is to puncture and damage your rim because Jamaica, again, as I said, has a lot of potholes, unfortunately. One day if you come, these things will be fixed. Fingers crossed. Like I said, Jamaica a development, you see. A lot of people are investing back into Jamaica, so that's a good thing. So, I would go with a taller vehicle for once you don't scrape up on the ground and them thing. Like, big wheels when you broke up. And if you're looking at something like that, I'd say you're looking at a SUV or a Jeep Ragla. But we're going back with, I digress, we're going back to something that's more if. Um, cost efficient like this that i have right you can start out with a toyota very good good on parts it's massive don't go no bmw no benz out of them thing that if you're starting out because it's very hard to maintain if you get a little tiny scratch for the benz or bmw trust me the mechanic will charge you tires for those are expensive oil change for those are expensive everything is expensive about those it's not that you cannot buy it it's just the maintenance and why would you want to maintain something that's depreciated in value you only want to maintain something that's appreciated in value so the money that you put in you will get back out when you're ready for sell or whatever the case is unless you're going to be using a car to do some rental or something then you're going to get some money out of it otherwise it's just for everyday use it's not worth it to get a Benz or a BIM or them thing there, if it's going to be a vehicle you're going to park up for the most part when you're not here, if you understand what I say. So, back to the price agent. Pricing, you can get a good Toyota um, Corolla or 
um what they call them them, them car they know them very popular in jamaica let's see into small cars you can get a honda fit because honda toyota those brands are very durable brands right you can get something like that for a million 1.5 million and the year of those cars you're looking at like a 2013 up to 2016 right and then the toyota the, the car then called the mark x See, I, I didn't want to opt for those cars because they have a negative connotation where those cars are concerned. I mean, I want to group myself into a particular um, group of people because automatically a man saying a Mark X, I'm going to think one thing. You're a scammer. Get to my phone from? Whereas me a young boy tattoo up on them thing there. It's just automatic stereotype. And that's not the only reason because I'm not too, too business with the people and say, if you see me, I want to carry one, pull me over and target me. Me know how I get my money. So, in a day, I'm not really free them with it. But I don't want unnecessary attention for me. And two, them carry the honesty, they are gas guzzlers. And you want a car that's gas efficient. Because again, why would you get something that depreciates in value and to pour money into it? Makes no sense. You see me? It's like having a big old house and a loan living there. In order to keep that upkeep that house, you need to do your yearly painting, you need to do your yearly maintenance or that house is going to run to the ground even though it's an appreciating asset it can still mash up and have to spend a bag of money for bring it up to the level so if i alone be a simple house i digress but yeah if you get in a car in jamaica 1.5 million dollar can give you a proper car i mean i tell you proper running car this car bless up my virgin and him father because when them sell me the car them people are car people then take care of this car I have no, the only issue I have with that car, to be very honest, are the rims because of some fancy, they look good, but because of the aftermarket fancy rims, them, them build out of aluminum or something like that, so they break easily, that's my only issue with the rims, and if you buy one, you can't then sell one rim, you see, they buy the pair or four, uh, four rims at Jamaica, four set of rims, if you're going to get fancy rims, or then you can run it anywhere from 200 to 300,000, which is like, 2,500 Canadian and so forth, 2,000 US there about, right? And if you're going to get the factory style rims now, I think you can get those, like four of them, two pairs for about 150,000 because they're not they're not the fancy ones. And to get the factory style Toyota rims, probably going to be a little bit difficult to find. I've never searched, I don't know, right? Because my soul sell the vehicle and so I don't want to invest too much into it. So I say, but yeah, it, it's worth it. It's worth it if you're going to be traveling back home very often. If you don't have family members to take your vehicle and you own a home or something, just get a garage, park up a car, and you're good. It's messy. In summarizing this video, what are the pros and cons? Is it better to have a car in Jamaica or not? Yes, for me, if you make the right decision. And that's why I created this video to tell you things to look out for and things to use to determine what type of vehicle you want what type of family structure you have and what will suit your need. If you have a bigger family, you want to go for a bigger vehicle like a SUV or one of them vehicles they call the Noah Jamaica. You can get them for $2.53 million. Very good vehicle. Them. The Noah are the highest bus. Them. They look sporty as well. So even if you are low on a travel, you can look very stylish in them. They're not overly big like a coaster bus. They're very nice. As I say, so the pros for me outweigh the cons because... I don't know about you, but I know about me. I'm coming to Jamaica. My time is of the essence. I'm going to use up every single time. The first time I came here before I got that car, I was waiting. Um, because I didn't want school time to come here and me. I was waiting on taxi in the morning time to get to the gym for about an hour sometime, if not two, because every week I pass full up with students. And you can't fix because you have to go to school. And how they reach school? Via taxi. Get my phone from. So, remember me then I son, son bun me till me weep, man. Because me have to turn up and I son and I wait for a taxi. Sometimes I say, my brother, I say, yo, yo, go go and walk, you know. Yes, yeah, so my pros outweigh oh, oh, the cons because I, you can benefit my brother and his family, Anthony, and Gus, and and deal with females, so. Overall, man, I'd say getting a car in Jamaica, if you're going to be frequent here, is way worth it than rental. Trust me. And if you don't have the money up front, you have a good um, job in overseas or you have good tax and everything there, you can go so boom and get it financed through the bank. Some good banks that you can finance through. So open an account. You know what? 
I'm going to tell you some banks so you can open an account in Jamaica to get some good loans from them. So, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Leave a comment and I can give you some suggestions. I don't want to just be showing out information that you don't care about. How will I know if you care about the information? If you comment them down below. So, yeah, that is it. If you did find this video useful, don't forget to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel because, as I say, this channel is going to come with no. I don't want to show you what I have. I want to teach you how to attain this and many more for yourself and your family because that is it, you know. When they tap on my look and I say, what do we want? Do all of we want the same thing? Peace, happiness, and money. Get me? I say, and other things, but all of we are hunting for the same thing. Why do you work? Because you want financial freedom to take yourself and your family. You want to be. Ultimate goal is to be happy for everybody. And we are going to get happiness through. Unfortunately, sometimes we get happiness through. Uh, materialistic things but these are the things that help make up life it's not every it's not the entirety of life because no people survive and happy without these things but i'm saying all of us are after, after the same thing so if you go to work and you ask for more pay what do you essentially want more money so you can do more things so why not try to help each other to reach there quicker if me know the way i'm going to tell you so that's what this channel is about this channel is about educating and uplifting is me while i am learning and I want to learn from you too. And uh, how can you teach me and uh, other people viewing? Leave your comments, leave your um, experiences, and leave your feedback. Constructive criticism is always welcome. But we're not going to tolerate no disrespect for the channel, to myself, and the supporters and the viewers of Mars Time. You see me? I say, yeah. And you don't know how you John Mars' channel name now. So big up on yourself. No flow, flow, as I'm say. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the video if you're new here because many more things are yet to go to. I mean, you know, a lot of people, young people, old people alike, are trying to better themselves. And these videos can be very helpful. I mean, need your help as well. If you comment down below and just leave your feedback because trust me, no found have some good expertise and experiences out there we can help us to be better. So. Thank you very much in advance for commenting and for liking the video and sharing it out. This man say, until next time, see if travel on the gravel and go and big up on yourself. So yeah man, see the eh? one of the best decisions this. This man say, mm -hmm. best decision.